If you have a gaming laptop, then you've got some graphics from AMD or NVIDIA. And if you're running an Intel processor, then you have some integrated graphics as well. It's an interesting situation that that puts you in. Do you choose MS Hybrid Graphics, keeping the Intel graphics enabled in your computer, or do you just disable it completely and use only your dedicated video card from the red or the green team? If you want to see benchmarks detailing performance in games between the two, then you'll want to check out this video over here, which comes out in a couple days, so don't panic if it's not there just yet. So the first thing you need to understand is what's functionally different in the laptop between these two modes, and then when you understand what, you'll understand why the five key differences are what they are. So just real quick, when you have it in MS Hybrid mode, that means that the Intel graphics baked into your processor are what's driving your monitor. So all of those NVIDIA features like G-Sync don't work with your monitor. And when you think about just how much value G-Sync adds to the price of something like a desktop monitor, that could be like one to $200 in your laptop that you paid for that you're not getting the benefit of with MS Hybrid graphics. I think that's a pretty big deal. Anyone else with me on this? No one? Oh, hey there. Nice to know someone believes me. And another big limitation that comes from using the Intel graphics to drive your display is it caps your frame rate. On my almost one and a half thousand dollar laptop, it's 1080p 60 hertz when it's in MS hybrid mode. And as soon as I change it to discrete mode, now that the GTX 1070 is driving the display, not only do I get G-Sync, but it also goes up to 75 hertz out of the box. And it's not just that it automatically gains 25% more FPS on the screen, now you can actually overclock your monitor. And I actually managed to squeeze 102 frames per second out of a screen that would only be displaying 60 if it was just in MS hybrid mode. That's a big difference. So no G-Sync, no high refresh rate on your monitor, and no overclocking your monitor when it's in MS hybrid mode. So again, that's three reasons to immediately switch over to discrete. And here's another one. You can't overclock your graphics card for most laptops if it's in MS hybrid mode. So my GTX 1070 only boosts up to about 1900 megahertz. And if I enable overclocking in discrete mode, I can push another 150 megahertz on the core and another 200 megahertz on the memory, which really improves the frame rate. And if you wanna see just how much that boosts the FPS in your games, then make sure to check out, again, the video over here that comes out in a couple days after I record this. Another NVIDIA feature that you'll be missing out if you're using MS Hybrid mode is Shadow Play which might not seem like that big a deal at first, but for someone like me who records a lot of benchmarks and things on their laptop, Shadow Play will technically work in games, but you can't use this free screen recording software to record the desktop or anything that's not a game utilizing the power of the GTX 10 series card. So, at this point you're probably wondering, why does MS Hybrid Graphics even exist? Why is this a thing? Well, in the case of Adobe Premiere Rendering, it does actually speed up rendering performance anywhere from 7% to 63% in some of the video projects I tested. And again, that's a spoiler from the video I've pointed out a couple times. But also, battery life. Battery life is much better on MS Hybrid mode. And if you want to know just how much, I don't have those numbers in front of me because my laptop is over there running a teleprompter, but I'll put those numbers up on the screen here. Needless to say, MS Hybrid mode, because it can completely disable the GTX 1070, which it does most of the time, that's a lot of power you're not pulling out of your laptop's battery. And it was to the point where I was rebooting and switching in the BIOS every time I wanted to game, I'd put it in discrete mode, and then anything else I was doing, like video editing, I'd reboot, go into the BIOS, and switch it back over to MS Hybrid mode. So that was mostly the inspiration I used for how to get into your BIOS without mashing the delete key, just using the Windows 10 settings, because I forgot what the key was on the laptop and I couldn't find it online, so 
that's how we get into the BIOS to switch between the two modes. If you found this rant somewhat useful, then I would be much obliged if you would leave me a like, get subscribed to the channel, leave a comment below. Are you ever going to use MS Hybrid Graphics or is it just gaming performance that matters to you? Let me know down below.